Number two, building trust. So important. Your puppy's not going to work well for you if he doesn't trust you. So consistency is the key to earning that. And you need to be consistent in these four different areas, environment, routine, connection, and energy. So let's go through them. Number one, they need a nurturing, consistent environment. And that is providing a safe and comfortable space for your dog where they can thrive, but they have boundaries. I hear all the time, I get calls, my dog's peeing all over the house. My dog chewed up my, my couch when I wasn't uh, in the living room. And my answer is always, why is your puppy all over the house? Your puppy's not ready for that. That's overwhelming to a puppy, overstimulating and confusing. So set up boundaries, have a safe space for your puppy, use the crate and make sure it's comfortable for your puppy. Make sure there's distractions that allow for chewing and investigation. This is a growth phase for your puppy, the most important growth phase. And so they need to do their natural behaviors such as chewing, biting, and they need to do it in a healthy way. Next is the routine keeping a consistent routine every day that your puppy can count on. And when your puppy knows what to expect, it builds confidence. And then with confidence comes trust. Start your mornings off right by making space in the morning for this puppy, rather than just adding him to your already busy schedule. That sets your day up for failure. It sets you up with anxiety. That anxiety bleeds over into your puppy. You're, you're trying to get the kids going, you're packing lunches, you're trying to get yourself together, and you've got to walk this puppy like three times trying to get him to go potty. And that energy is not going to work. You're not going to get the results that you want as quickly as you want them. So set this routine, get up early, 30 to 45 minutes earlier, have some alone time with that puppy. That's where the great connection happens. I like to meditate in the morning and my dogs love that time. They'll all get as close to me as possible and they just relax with me. Now, my golden does not. He wakes up, he's like, it's a beautiful day. Let me enjoy this day. I love life. Here's my tennis ball. Throw it for me 10 times before we go outside. And that's him and that's okay. And so I, I adjust to him and I'll drink my coffee and throw the tennis ball. But uh, see what works for you and what works for your puppy. But I bet most puppies just love that quiet time in the morning. It's really good for their well-being. Build habits of connection throughout the day. Make sure you're connecting on the floor with them. They love that. That is the best. Watch how their body language changes when you're on the same level as them. You can feel their energy just relax. And they get all close to you and in your face. That's, that's the, the sweet spots. That's the magic moment. So make sure those are in your schedule. Don't miss them. You want to have consistent meal times. Have a routine around meal times. Have your routine around potty times, just like our frameworks I'm going to show you later. Your evening ritual, same ritual every night, same bedtime routine. Your dog knows what to expect, and it makes it easier for you because you know what you're doing. You know what's next. And you're not trying to just like think, what should I do with my puppy now? What, what should we do next? You've got it. And you might not get it the first day, but you will over after doing this for, for a few days in a row. Next, let's talk about connection again. This is me and my, my boy Joey connecting. That's how we love to do it. Your puppy craves connection and will rely on it for comfort, for confidence, and for overall well-being. Connection must be scheduled, though. It's just like any other relationship we have, like with your spouse or with your kids. You got to plan the family night, got to put that in the schedule. With your spouse, a date night, maybe a walk. You just have to do it or else th that relationship is going to fade a little bit. And then you're like, oh, but I got to get back to this. Let me do it. Well, your puppy is in a really impressionable time. And so now is the time to build that bond and connection is so important. So don't let that fade away. You've got to put it in your schedule, make it part of that daily routine. And if you're starting to feel maybe a little bit uh, puppy blues, 
Um, I don't know if you've heard that term, but it's really about feeling a little overwhelmed and maybe a little regret about getting a puppy. And because puppyhood can be hard. A lot of times it's because the connection isn't in the schedule. It's not made a priority. Next is energy. This is super important for me. I, I, I feel dogs energy and I, I know when I'm working with them as a doctor and I know when I'm working with them as a trainer, how to adjust to their energies. And you, you have to be aware of that when you're with your puppy because your puppy is super sensitive to your energy. They feel your mood before you enter a room. And so you have to be really conscious about how, what energy you're bringing to that puppy in order for you to get the results you want, but also to build that puppy's confidence. Commit to bringing the same loving energy to every situation. And you may be frustrated sometimes, or you will be frustrated sometimes. And I'll be honest, I'm not perfect in this area. I, I try and I, I correct myself. I have a little five pound poodle that barks her bloody head off because she feels that her main purpose in life is to protect me from everything. And I appreciate it. And I know it comes from love. And that protecting that her her job of protecting me is much more important to her than my wants at that point of her to be quiet. Right. And so I have to remember why she's doing it in order to adjust that behavior. Do I tell her, Maisie, shut up sometimes? Yeah, I do. But I know it's not going to get me anywhere because she's not, I'm not addressing what the primary cause for her to bark is. Right. So if I yelled at her, that, in, especially with a puppy that's impressionable, you yell, anger is the quickest way for you to lose trust in your puppy, for your puppy to lose trust in you. So they need that consistent energy. So decide now that you're going to show up with that for them. All right, let's recap on building trust. Consistency, again, you need it to earn trust and you need the four places that you're going to be consistent are environment, routine, connection, and energy.